Hello everyone. Welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. My name is Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. So in today's video, we will see 15 things that we must do after installing the Manjaro Linux. As we know that Manjaro is an Arch based Linux distribution, we can use the Manjaro right after the installation, unlike the Arch Linux. But still, there are things which should be done to enhance the user experience. So let's get started. Number 1. Install Drivers The first and the foremost thing which one should do after installing the Manjaro is to look for the drivers which are needed to be installed in the system. For that purpose, we will go to our Manjaro settings and I'll write here Manjaro settings and here it is just click on it and from here click on hardware configuration and here is the list of drivers for the hardware which are installed and which are needed to be installed click on show all devices and here is the list of all drivers which are related to your hardware from here we can install our drivers which are needed to be installed with respect to our hardware resources Number 2. Disable Group Delay Well, whenever we start our system, it boots up. When it boots up, it takes time as you can see on the screen that it is giving the different options and at the same time you can see there is a countdown going on. We can decrease this boot time. For that purpose, we will go to our terminal. Click on terminal and here we will write a command which is now hit enter now it is asking for the password enter your password here and here you can see that it is showing me the information about boot time now as you can see that here it says five we can change it to our need i'm going to change it to zero and now our system will take less time to boot up now to save this file press ctrl x and here press y and now your file has been saved. Number 3. Check for errors. It is a very good practice to look for the error in the system time to time. It will help you to keep the system up to date and safe as well at the same time. For that purpose, open your terminal in your system. In your terminal, write the command sudo systemctl fail. Hit enter, it will ask for the password enter your password and here it says zero loaded units listed means at the moment I do not have any errors as we are here at the same time we can look for the errors which are present in our log files for that purpose just write sudo hit enter now there are chances that you will see some errors but do not worry these are not the critical one these are just to show you that there might be a case when you have your errors in your log files. Number four, reduce swappiness. Swappiness is a property of Linux which is used to balance between runtime memory. Our data is written on a special place on the hard disk to free up the RAM. Means if we have short resources in terms of RAM, swappiness helps us here. To do that, First of all, we will check our swappiness value. I will open my command prompt. Write this command in your terminal. And hit enter. Now it is showing us the value which is 60. We will reduce this value. To reduce this value, we will write this command which is sudo. Now give it password. And here we will write this code which is written here vm.swappiness equal tens. Now after that we will save this file and close our terminal. And after closing our terminal we will reboot our system to make this change take place in our machine. Number 5. Switch to local mirror. Manjaro updates our system by using the global Manjaro server by default. We can shift to our local server to make it work faster. For that purpose we will go to our menus 
and from menus we will go to our add remove software repository and from here click on these three dots and then click on preferences give it the password now click on official repositories and here you can see that it says worldwide you can change it to your country as well in my case i'm going to change it to canada and click on refresh mirror list now after making this change the download speed will be much better than the earlier and the next time you install any update or download anything it will take less time as you will be using the local mirror which is near to you number six install the firewall to install the firewall in your system go to the add remove software repository and in here look for gufw and here you can see that it has shown me a firewall which says firewall configuration gufw and after that it has its version so in my case i have already installed it if you did not have installed it just install it from here now i will open this from my menus i will just write gufw and here you can see that i'll just click on it and it will get open give it the password the current status is off i can turn it to on and then i have my profile which is home i have multiple options in my profile like office public home i can select any profile here so these are some other related information about my network which are like rules report and log so you must install this in term of increasing the security of your system number seven enable aur aur stands for arch user repository the benefit of using the manjaro is we get to have all the packages which are available in the arch linux repository but to access them we have to enable the repository into our system for that purpose we will go to our add remove software or our software repository and from there click on these three dots and from here click on preferences give it the password and here you can see that we have an option which says aur just click on it and enable this option now as we have enabled it we can also check for the updates at the same time for our system number eight install language packages for that purpose go to your manjaro settings and from there go to your language packages if i maximize this window here you can see that we have two types of packages one is global language packages and other is related to us language packages in my case i cannot see my install packages button here the reason is I have already installed all these packages. In your case, it might show you the option to install packages from here. So if I click on installed language packages, here you can see that I have already installed these two packages. So in case if you did not have these packages, install them from here. Setting number nine, install trim. We install trim for our SSD. Manjaro works perfectly with SSD. But if we install the trim, it will increase the lifespan of the SSD. We just need to enable the trim because it is already available in our system. For that purpose, we will open our terminal and in terminal, we will write the following command. sudo systemctl space enable fstrim dot timer just hit enter now it is asking for the password now our trim has been enabled in our system and now ssd will perform much better than earlier and its lifespan will be enhanced setting number 10 install redshift installing the redshift will decrease the blue light on the screen and will improve your user experience as most of the people have to wear glasses while using the system and it is because of blue light installing the redshift will improve the experience of using the system without any burden on your eyes to install it we will go to our add remove software repository and from here we will look for redshift and here you can see that it is available in the repository just install it 
no more burden on the eyes from the blue light number 11 change mozilla settings well there are a lot of time when we are working on the browser and suddenly we close it accidentally and next time when we want to open the browser we want to have the same tabs which we were working on earlier so there are two ways to reopen those tab one is to go to your history and open each tab individually and other is by changing a simple setting in your mozilla firefox browser for that purpose click on this menu button from here click on preferences and here it says restore previous version just check this one and as we are here scroll down and here it says play drm control content well you will need this to play some kind of videos in your browser because there are some format of the videos which need special resources and this will allow those videos to play in your browser so i will check this one as well number 12 date and time well when we install our manjaro for the first time we can have our date and time automatically for that purpose we will open our manjaro settings and from here i will click on time and date here i have the option to set my time and date automatically what it will do it will sync with your system and hopefully with your internet to set your time and date with respect to your area or your country so just check on this and click on apply number 13 remove orphan packages sometime when we install some packages or we remove some packages some packages remain on our system which are of no use so these are called orphan packages to look which orphan packages are there on our system we will go to our add remove software repository and from here click on installed and here we have a list click on it and from here here you can see that it says orphan click on orphans and at the moment i have no orphan package which means i have no extra package or no package which is of no use in my system number 14 layouts in manjaro we have number of layouts which are available by default in our manjaro distribution as you can see on the screen that we have multiple layouts which we can use for our experience for example at the moment i am using manjaro but what if i want to use the traditional one just click on it after clicking on it just click on apply now as you can see that my layout has been changed to traditional one now it looks something like windows in windows we have start button and in manjaro we also have that button if we click on it and here you can see that which is almost similar to the windows so here you have other option with respect to layouts you can choose any one as per your liking number 15 enable flat pack well this one is optional for everyone because when we use manjaro we get all the application and all the packages which are available in our linux repository so it is an option for us to use flat pack packages and software but in case if you want to do it just go to add remove software repository and click on it from here click on these three dots and then preferences it will ask for the password after giving your password here you can see that it says flat pack so from here just enable it and at the same time you can look for its updates and at the same time you have snap packages also available so you can enable them also so that's it for this video please give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel as this channel is all about showing you how to become an it pro really fast see you in another video